first let's import the image in file import and adjust this just click ok and you can click the image and scale it down by holding ctrl shift to create a proportional scale ok next add a text press T or you can click this icon and type select all the font press ctrl A and let's change the font to you can download the font on the link in the description ok you can enter the selector tool or the shortcut is S or F1 and hold ctrl shift to create a proportional scale place it on the top of the image scale it up again and you can hold control only to resize from this corner now what I'm going to do is modify this text into a letter and modify them with other object okay to do that first make it become path by going to path object to path so what to do next is to ungroup them but you see in the newest inkscape there is no option for ungroup the solution is by going to path choose the split path so you see the text now is become separate into a letter with rectangle tool press R on your keyboard or you can click this icon and make sure you turn on this toggle snapping so when you draw a rectangle it snap to this letter Okay. You can press F1 or you can click this icon and make it all the way to bottom. Okay, let me scale this image a little. So click the image and hold Control Shift. You can turn on this toggle snapping for now for freely to scale and turn on again and move this down so you can see clearly this is the S letter now with the pen tool press B I want to create a custom shape to connect the S letter and to this rectangle so from here you see the handle to cuts note that because you turn on this toggle snapping this is in the corner of the S letter and connect it to this corner okay and this two and make it connect to here and connect it to the first node the stroke is in unset you can right click to remove stroke if it sets continue to the other letter so fastest way I'm going to duplicate it press ctrl D and hold ctrl shift to while moving in the U letter so find the corner and this too you can scale without pressing anything okay and make it in the same height so you see this U letter is not easy to read is it I or U you can move it down to the bottom and make it connect with the bezier tool so press B and on the corner connect it to these U letters and continue the other letters can modify this rectangle so click this rectangle and move it up a little it's the same as this so just move it up and this too 
the shape is same with this. So that's how the snapping works in Inkscape. If you want to create a design with some same measurement, you can turn on this snapping. If all done, you can select all of this except the image or manually you can shift click one by one but I think it's not the fast way so you can select all without selecting the image so I mean you select only this text not all of this because the image is in selected too so you can easily remove the selected image by holding shift then click the image so it's only select the letter and the path that you create unite them in path choose union all right next step what we're going to do is make a clipping mess so click the text and the image and right click choose set clip okay nice you can scale this down so hold control shift and I think the canvas is too wide it's more space in here I want to make it more portrait to do that with rectangle tool click the second or the circuit is R you can draw a rectangle don't forget to turn on this toggle snapping and move it to the bottom to see the canvas look fit next make the canvas same with this background rectangle so click the rectangle and the circuit is shift control R And you can add more text so I'm going to add text press T and type all right and hold control shift to scale it up and you can click once again until you see this up and down arrow icons and hold shift to make it skew like that and can change the color to I choose this yellow scale up by holding control shift and let me change this background color to some of this 90% gray and you can add text press T and type change the color to white and make the letter more space so press T and control A to select all the text and the spacing you can adjust it to like 5 and scale it down again, hold control and you can make some variation with new new page, click this icon pick tool and click this create new page and I'm going to duplicate all of this so you can select all press ctrl D to duplicate and move it to here make it fit to this new page alright and you can change to any color say this 5% gray and the text into this gray that's how the masking work on Inkscape if you want to create some custom shape so go with Inkscape thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye